Hi, my name is Narita Heim. I've been a member of St. Isaac Parish for 39 years. I'm on this parish council in the choir and a Eucharistic minister. I grew up in St. Dennis Parish in Havertown and went through Catholic school my whole life until college. But I did all my sacraments, I made Holy Communion, went to Mass every Sunday, and had a wonderful, charmed life. I met my husband at Villanova. I was working there one summer, and he was in school. And we got married, and had three beautiful boys, and had a wonderful life. And then we moved here to St. Isaac Parish. Um, after about 10 years, all of a sudden one day, I sensed that he was feeling aloof. And uh, next thing I know, he's asking, I don't think I wanna be in the family anymore. Not in the family, but he didn't want to be married anymore. So of course that really shook me up, really devastated me, and I didn't know what to do. I was worried about my children. I was worried about him. I was worried about everybody. And as a result, I stopped eating. I hardly slept. And it was just a very tough time. Um, eventually, I just came into the Adoration Chapel um, at my wit's end, asking God, why is this happening? And it took a while. I, I don't know how long I was, would come to pray there. But finally, one day, I sensed this feeling of peace in that I said to God, I can't do this anymore. I don't know what to do. And it was like I was handing it over to him. And when I read so many things these days about trusting in God, I realize that is really what it's all about. We have to give it over to God. And by me doing that, I went home and I was at peace. I was able to sleep. I was able to move on with my life. It got, my husband was gone for four years, so it was a long journey. And I really didn't know where it was going. But I sensed like I just had to put one foot in front of the other and God was gonna take care of it. <clears throat> so eventually, after four years, um, we started to talk again about things. And I think John was not sure whether it was gonna be possible, but I was ready to forgive. I prayed again for that because forgiveness is a hard thing and I didn't know if it was the right thing, but it was. And we've been together now for 48 years and it's, you know, it's been a wonderful thing. And I really hope that this will show people that by praying to God and giving your problems to God, he's going to take care of you and to give you hope that things might not be exactly what you expect it to be, but it will get better. I hope this helps all of you and God bless.